My name is Yusri Bulgari. I'll be fighting at LFL on February 5th. I started kickboxing at age 16. Uh, I fell in love with the sport. When I was 19, I fought my first fight. I turned pro within two years. I started at Glory, uh, Glory Kickboxing, four years of fighting. So now I'm in MMA three years. My biggest achievement in kickboxing was reaching the title shots in Glory. Uh, I won the contender tournament once. I didn't win the belt. I have some other belts in the pocket um, and I won from some amazing fighters which is the most important for me, you know. Every fight is a challenge. It gave me a lot of experience, which I can incorporate in my mixed martial arts career, which is full on right now. Yeah, it's easy to coach, yes, very easy. I like intelligent fighters, he's an intelligent fighter. He can talk about things, about situations, and he picks up fast, but he also gives feedback, you know, so, so I like that kind of coaching, you know. I'm not very directive, you should do this and that. You know, we're always in a, in a conversation, uh, and some things he likes, some things he don't like, so we can talk about that he's a smart fighter. I'm, I'm very glad uh, to work with him. So I can't name one toughest opponent in kickboxing because um, it's always about circumstances, everything around, not just the opponent. So I fought against Alex Pereira, Israel Adesanya, Jason Wilmes, Donovan Wissas. Those are top strikers and they were all very tough. It made me learn and become a better fighter in my own way. I switched from kickboxing to MMA because of the completeness of the sport, you know. It, there is no holding back in any way, it's just the full package of fighting. It's so challenging to start up, stand up, you know, you know, get into wrestling, scrambles, you know, go on the ground, have punches, give punches on the ground, get up again, maybe you're tired, now you have to strike again. The raw fighting of, of MMA, the techniques behind it, which are the most important. Uh, I fell in love with learning to be my best self in that. I hope to achieve my highest potential. I think everybody can achieve uh, whatever he puts his mind to, but it's step by step. You know, I don't look past my next opponent, but I know if you keep winning, keep on uh, leveling up. The same happened in kickboxing. I never expected to be at the top of the league. I just fought my fights. The same for MMA. Let's see where it takes me. I'm aiming high. For the last title fight of uh, Alex Pereira, he invited me to help him in his camp. Uh, I didn't expect how great the experience would be because I learned a lot. Uh, they invited me as a family member, experienced a lot of great things in and out the gym. I learned a lot about MMA from both Alex, uh, Glover, uh, the coaches there, the teammates. I will be back. Of course, he went uh, to the States to, 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 to help uh, Alex Pereira. You know, so uh, that, that's always, you have a lot of good high level fighters over there, so you learn a lot there, you know, it's always about the little details you learn, you know, so, so, so he made steps on the ground, but, so, but also striking wise, so he's, he's in, in development still in the MMA game, you know, so you cannot say, yeah, he's getting better in this or that, you know, it, it's always little, little things. And of course his ground game is, is, is really, that's going fast, you know, so he's really getting there, so, so we are glad where he is now. And now we have to make the next step at LFL against our Polish friend. <laughs> uh, what I know about my opponent, I think he's a three-time serial killer there back in Poland. At least that's what he looks, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> he, looks the, he looks the part. Uh, for the rest, I don't know much about him. I think he's coming to fight. Me too. <laughs> So that's what you can expect, a good fight. Uh, of course, I'm going to use my head, but I'm uh, coming to finish the fight before the end of the bell. <laughs> Fighting is a very important pillar in my life. Keeping me straight is keeping me disciplined. It's a reason for me to eat right, uh, get to the gym every day, you know, next to loving it. The challenge that I put myself in by setting fight dates, you know, gives me that extra push to just be motivated, be a warrior, not just in training, but in life. It doesn't mean hitting random people in the streets. It just means being motivated and being, you know, in line uh, to your goals. 
This fight with LFL means a lot to me because it's uh, the first time in a few years that I'm fighting in Amsterdam again. It's my first MMA fight. A lot of my people uh, will come to support instead of just, you know, having phone calls after and being able to hug them after, you know, a tough period of camp. It would be the best feeling ever. The toughest challenge uh, in my life was uh, becoming a parent. So uh, being a father of two right now and then also a husband of a wife with high expectations. Bringing it all together, you know, being a family man, taking care of your, your little ones, being a lovable husband, and then also, you know, being there for your other family, for your friends, that's the toughest challenge. And then also the sport and work I'm doing. So yeah, it's a handful. And, um, you know, becoming the parent was the toughest one of them. It changes your life up 360 degrees, uh, but it motivates me also. My kids are definitely a big motivation for me to train hard, you know. Uh, every once in a while I'm working the bag or working in, in wrestling and, you know, they pop up in my mind and, you know, I get that extra power. This, this is a true fact. I think I never had such experience before I had kids, so they motivate me, but they also help me in certain moments. If you want to see me fight at LFL, buy your tickets. They'll be sold out soon. So I'll see you there and have a blast.